All right, with the bed lift, the hydraulic lifts, you can see that there is storage that we have underneath the bus. In the back, you'll see that there is a fresh water tank. I have insulated the tank because I've heard people talk about how the different temperature of the water and outside temperature would make the tank sweat. So this helps keep it from sweating. Uh, I have stored a lot of things in the back because it goes all the way to the back as well. You can see that it is connected. We have a pump in the back. Um, there's an outlet to hook up the pump whenever we need to use the pump. We never had a chance to, to use it. However, uh, if ever you are off grid, this is where you would get your fresh water from uh, whenever using the, the camp or the tiny house. This area here is a large open area. This is where if you wanted to put solar panels in, you can put an inverter, all your wiring and everything else. This is where we have our electric box. Uh, it is uh, hooked up for shore power, 50 amp, uh, so that way we would have no problems whenever we would use certain things in the bus. We would not have to worry about anything, uh, blowing any type of fuses or anything like that. Let me show you a little bit about what we have on the outside of the bus. Right, when you come down, first of all, you have, a, not, uh, have another TV hookup so that if you want to watch TV on the outside, you can. I do have another extension for a TV so that you don't have to completely unplug the TV uh, from the outlet itself. Uh, you can just simply unplug it from the back, use that, and then that way when you go back into the bus, you just simply hook, uh, hook it up very quickly. Uh, we also have right here uh, another outlet, G GFCI outlet um, that we use for the outside. This is for a um, extension roller rack that we have. It basically just slides in, and I can show you that later. Just slides in with a pin, and then you have access to extension cords for outside stuff. Um, this part, what I really like, is this is how you, you can hook up, or if ever you want, you would come across here and simply undo this latch and hook the latch up here. And if you want to have access to TV on the outside, the TV does come out and swing out so that you can watch TV from outside if you choose to. Uh, the top part, as you can see, we have awning, stuff for awning. Uh, the bar, it only takes maybe about five minutes or so to hook up and unhook the awning whenever you are also, if you notice, I have the outside access to underneath the box. I showed you on the inside where you can store different things. If you open it up, there's the hot water tank again. And then all the room that you need to store different things that you uh, might need for camping. In the back is also another fire extinguisher that we keep in the back as well. Added to the roof bus was this nice rack that was built uh, by uh, Sarah's uh, uncle, Pare, and also her grandfather. Uh, it is aluminum rack, so it is very light, but it's also very, very sturdy as well. It houses the outside in four parts of the, um, of the Pioneer mini split. We also have here the hoses that we use to connect to a uh, shore type of sewage whenever we need it. It's just basically made out of... Um, a swimming pool hose, uh, but we need it to fit, so it works great. Uh, down here is where we house all of the poles that's needed for the canopy that we have. Uh, so we needed something to house all of that, so this is where it's at. It's easy access, again, to be able to pull out. This box was originally built for a generator. Uh, which is why it has hinges and everything else that so you could just lift the top, open it up, and then lift it all the way up whenever you needed to use the generator. However, instead, now we use this to house like wooden stuff whenever we go camping. It also houses things for the, for the bus, such as extra oil if necessary, or radiator fluid, uh, those types of things that we might need for the bus. All right, these are what we use to help anchor down the canopy. 
Uh, we found that works very, very well, especially in some very windy conditions. Down here is where we would hook the hose up to go to sewer. Um, just basically just turn it and turn the valve. This is closing it up. This opens it up. Whenever we're done, we just kind of leave it open to help dry everything out. If you look underneath, you see that uh, Sarah's dad had welded a rack and we had lifted where the gray water tank would go. We used the uh, PEX pipe plumbing mainly uh, for inside and as well as to drain the water out. Um, but however, when we first used it, it wasn't big enough. So it came back and we added the bigger PVC pipe and that's what we used to hook up and drain everything. So that's why you'll see an extra little spigot. Um, you know, like I said, we ended up trying to figure out how to make this work. This is your drain pipe from your fresh water tank. So if ever you had to drain the uh, water from the fresh water tank, it would go through that PEX pipe and you can drain it in your fresh water tank through here as well. So this is where we have our water hook up into the sewer. This was where we would, our valve to fill up the fresh water tank. And of course, this is where we would hook up for our water. Uh, these boxes were installed. These are the undercarriage uh, truck storage boxes that were welded and installed for us. This one will house all of our water supplies and things that we need to hook up uh, into the water for our city. And then this one will house the 50 amp, house the 50 amp cord that we have. So that goes in, into that as well. Uh, if ever you wanted to downsize or into a 30 amp or hook up at a house to 15 amp you can always buy the little extensions and store all of that in here as well this is our vent from our nature's head um, toilet uh, basically it comes out as you can um, as you're going to see you can't smell anything in there this helps vent everything out and help to make everything into compost this is another one of the box. And of course, this is my storage box for all of my tools and different things that I have. I told you a while ago that I would show you uh, on the other side, the extension cord. This is what goes into that little black piece that comes out. It has a pin that goes in. And of course, this is a, a pull cord uh, extension. And it also has four multiple outlets as well. not filming right yeah, i am <laughs> sorry i'm a messy person <laughs> i'll have this clean for you i promise <laughs> okay this part we do have a key where you can lock it uh but this is the part that uh when you open it up if i can open it up oh, there we go i have to turn it uh this is where all the electrical stuff is at on all the fuses, if ever you have to change any fuse with the charts and everything else that they have here. All right. And then here is where the battery operates. As you can see, I have it hooked up on solar panel to help keep it charged so the battery stays charged even whenever we're not using it. <laughs> 